a female prison worker smuggled tools to two New York inmates before they escaped, according to prosecutors. Joyce Mitchell, 51, gave hacksaw blades and drill bits to convicted killers David Sweat and Richard Matt, according to U.S. media reports. She is a workshop instructor at the Clinton Correctional Facility in Danamora, northern New York. A huge manhunt using hundreds of officers is now in its seventh day, stretching to Vermont and Canada. We continue to obtain information from her to try to get the understanding from her of why she helped these two individuals, said Prosecutor Andrew Wiley. She also planned to be the pair's getaway driver, but changed her mind at the last minute, investigators say. Mr. Wiley told CNN that MRS Mitchell's husband, Lyle Mitchell, is also being investigated to determine if he played a role in the breakout. Friday began the seventh day of the search for Matt, 48, and Sweat, 34, who broke out of one 70-year-old prison with power tools. The convicted murderers cut through brick and steel to crawl through an underground pipe on Friday night, and emerge from a manhole outside of the prison's 40-foot walls. New York's governor has said any prison workers found to have helped two killers escape a week ago will find themselves being convicted. Andrew Cuomo said, if you do it, you will be convicted, and then you'll be on the other side of the prison that you've been policing, and that is not a pleasant place to be. MRS Mitchell's son Toby told NBC she checked herself into a hospital with chest pains on Saturday and would not have helped the inmates escape. Mr Wiley, a district attorney, said that within the past 12 months MRS Mitchell had been investigated for a suspected relationship with prisoner David Sweat. Hundreds of employees and construction contractors have been investigated to determine if they provided the power tools. Over 800 police officers are searching swampland nearby where the prisoners are thought to have spent a night. Police dogs picked up a scent on Thursday, providing authorities with their strongest lead so far. Food wrappers and a footprint were discovered several miles from the prison. New York police say they have received over 700 leads over the past week. The manhunt in northern New York and surrounding areas has included campsites and boat slipways in neighboring Vermont. Homeowners are being asked to remain at home with doors and windows locked, and to leave outdoor lights on overnight to aid investigators with the search. Schools and roads remain closed. Matt was convicted of the kidnap, torture, and dismemberment of his former boss, whose body was found in pieces in a river. Sweat was serving life for his part in the killing of a sheriff's deputy who witnessed stolen guns being handled.